Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Uh, today we're going to be working on this John Deere 325. This is a pretty big mower. Um, it's kind of their commercial line. It's not one you would buy at Lowe's. But um, it's got the same engine as kind of the ones that you buy at Lowe's. It's a uh, Briggs 22 horsepower V-twin whatever. But uh, I'm going to be adjusting the valves on here um, and the reason I'm doing that is because it's it's kind of difficult to start it's like the uh, it's got an unloader built into it so it's like the unloader is not unloading as it tries to turn over let's see if I can show you sometimes it does it sometimes it doesn't so it, it's almost showing like the battery is low but I know the battery is not it's fully charged but and the starter is good too and I had to put a new solenoid on it but you guys might have seen that video I'll put a link up there but let's see what it sounds like here. I've got the parking brake set. Uh, choke is on and throttle is up a little bit. So let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, see that time it worked fine. Let's see what else here. Let's see if it does it. No, it's not going to do it. There it goes. See how it's struggling right there? So I, I think that's the valve. It, it really does it bad when it's... Um, when it's cold but um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this valve cover off right here and it looks like it might need a new valve cover gasket but I'll at least show you how to adjust the valves so the valve cover is a 10 millimeter socket and there's four of them around here just gonna break them all loose then uh, take them out like this All right, we've got the valve cover off, and uh, now we need to rotate the engine over to get it um, one of these at top dead center. There it is. All right, so here's so we'll start on the looks like the intake. The intake has an aluminum push rod, and the exhaust has a steel. But um, let's let's see what the clearance is this is a four thousands and I want to give a shout out to uh, Terrell fixes all uh, if you haven't seen his channel check it out it's pretty cool um, so it's well over four thousands uh, let's see I'll get it up to I don't know ten maybe let's see what this is yeah ten won't go so it's probably eight or so there's an eight oh yeah uh, so I'd say it's it's either way it needs to be set to four so you can see I've, I've got the feeler gauge in there and it's way loose so we'll go ahead and get that adjusted and that takes a uh, 10 millimeter no let me go get the wrenches I've got a 13 millimeter combination wrench and a T40 uh, Torx driver and uh, so what I'm going to do is loosen up the lock nut it's on there and uh, get that get this ready go ahead and put my four thousandths uh, feeler gauge in there back that nut off a little bit so you have clearance and uh, you'll want to put it in there to where you can barely barely slide that that feeler gauge out so right there is is nice uh, you know too tight and I, I can't move it too loose and it's it just flops around so you want to feel a little bit of resistance on there so you got to kind of finagle with it a little bit but there that is right there and uh, I'm gonna keep keep wiggling it while I tighten it down and if you got to do it again hey do it again you know no big deal There we go. Alright, so I've got it tight and I've got it dragging at 4,000. So that's perfect. Alright, and now we're going to rotate the engine over and get the other, this cam, on its very top. So then we can adjust this one.
There we go. All right, and that one feels pretty loose too, but let's see what it is. All right, that one's already, well, that one's about four thousandths. We'll go ahead and adjust it. Well, that's good enough. I'm not even going to adjust that because it's, it's nice, but I am going to check to make sure that the nut is tight. So I'm in here already. I might as well check that. There we go. Yeah, so everybody's good. Yeah, there's four thousandths there, and it's and it's it's holding on to it. So we're good. So this side is done. Um, the other side is the exact same thing. It just has a fuel pump hooked to it, which is no big deal. We just take the hose off. And um, so, anyways, well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it, and um, we'll see you next time.